RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I'm Oliver Dragon, but I'm not. I'm Fran Allison. <laughs> and we're so happy to have you here. And my little friends, Kukla and Ollie, are coming out to play with you in just a moment. But first of all, I would like to sing a lovely song and a lovely battle, a ballad entitled, Girls Were Made to Take Care of... Well, here's my little friend, Kukla Nile. Hello there, Kukla. How are you? <laughs> I don't get it. I'm Fran. Oh, Ollie. Shh. I'm Fran. <laughs> I'm Fran. Where is Ollie? Where is our dear, sweet friend Ollie? Where is the star of the show, the greatest fellow in all the world, the fellow who makes the show scintillate and sparkle, Oliver J. Dragon? Where is he? He, um, I don't think he's going to come today. He's playing guest appearance. He's on a guest appearance tour. For money? Guest appearance. Oh. <laughs> ho, ho. That's rich. <laughs> oh, stop it. I know. I thought this was a real good gag. Doesn't it look, I look just like Fran. You do not look like Fran at all. You can't take Fran's place. Oh, I know. I'm, I'll stand over here like this. You pretend you're me. Oh, I can't do that. Go ahead. You pretend you're me, and I'll be Fran, and then we'll sing a song together. I, this is a little confusing. I, I don't think I could do it. Oh, Ollie, please. I've had enough. Enough on my hands, getting everybody organized so that we can take care of the show while Fran is gone. And I'm waiting for a call from her now, and, and I want to report to her that everything is going along all right. Now, you don't want me to tell her that, that she doesn't have to come back because she has a substitute. Do you? I think it might be good for a gag. I think she might be a little upset. Oh, well, then I'd come in, you know. We, we'd scare her for a little while, and then I'd come in, you know, and she just liked me that much better. Look, it's long distance, and we're paying for the bill. Aren't we on the tie line? No. Well, all right, then. Well, let me know when she calls. I will. I think it's a pretty good guy. <laughs> well, Kukla, I have some work to do. So I'll go back to my desk and get some work done. Let me know when you want me. Just call me. Oh, what a character. Well, let me see now. I hope everything's organized properly. Oh, Fran got there, all right. We haven't really heard from her since... Isn't wonderful? Telephone, just as I was talking about her. Yeah. Just a minute. Back door at the same time. Here we are, back with you again. Yes, my... Hello! Put him right there at the table, will you, dear? You bet. Hello? What am I there with? Oh, no. Yeah, this is Kukla speaking. All righty. <laughs> Los Angeles, California calling. Hello? Hello, Fred, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm glad you put it in person to person. Uh, uh, you, sound, you sound so close, just like you're in the next room. But you sound just like you're in the next room. Room! No, no, dear. She has three rooms. She has a suite. No, no, dear. Next room. Well, that's all right. Never mind. We're fine. How are you? Did you have a nice trip? Oh, that's good. Did you see any Indians on the way out? <laughs> How's the weather? Oh, that's good. It's warmer here. Much warmer. You should have stayed here. It's much nicer today. Yeah, it's almost like spring. We're fine. I've got everybody working. Yeah, Beulah Witch is cooking dinner tonight. Yeah, I heard from Crawford today. He called. Well, he's very upset about Beulah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, Robert Q is coming in. No, Robert Q Lewis. Yeah, he's coming in today. Somebody is, he's going to have dinner with us. Beulah's cooking. I think she's living in a fool's paradise. 
Well, you know how she treated him in New York. Yeah. Well, he's coming to see us anyway. Yeah, but Crawford was very upset because he wanted to come in for dinner to... Well, I know. I'm not going to get into it. Well, don't you worry about that, Fran. Well, Madame Oka... Yeah, she's wor... Well, she, she's supposed to have tomorrow, but I don't think she's going to take it tomorrow because she said she has to have her hair done. Yeah, I don't know why she can't have her hair done and then do the show while it's being done. Uh-huh. Oh, he's fine. He's right down here in front. Yeah, we moved the piano in front of the stage. Oh, okay, you too. Jack? Hi, Fran. <laughs> yeah, a lot of scary. Hi, Fran. How yeah. are you? What'd you say? Fine. Good. How are you? Very good, Fran. <laughs> How's Laura, she said. Great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who is it? Fran. Oh, oh. Oh, Fran. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Well, hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely cutie. You sound so very sweet today. In fact, you take my breath away. Well, hello, cutie, you devastating beauty. Now, strictly on the cutie, you're my extra special cutie. Cause you bring out the dragon in me. Well, hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely cutie. How is the sweet, the sweetheart you will ever know on video? Hmm? <laughs> well, hello, cutie. You devastating beauty, now confidentially, you know that positively, absolutely, you are the cutie for me, you are the cutie for me, no substitute, you are the cutie for me, oh rooty tooty, you are the cutie for me, mop, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good, you like it, I'm glad. Like the song, Jack. Yeah. yeah. Well, everybody's all right. Yeah, well, I'm helping Kukla. Don't you worry. I'm taking good care of him. Well, no, just, I'm taking... Yeah, well, uh, Mercedes, Mercedes and uh, Cecil Bill are going to do the commercial today. They've got, they've got some records they're going to uh, pantomime to. Yeah. We take care of everything else. How is that, Dorothy? Oh. Pretty tired, huh? How many museums? <laughs> no, there were that many in California. Where? Oh, is it pretty? Yeah. Was well, there a forest on it? Mostly lawn, huh? <clears throat> okay. Well, yeah, I'll turn you back to Kuka. I'm going to get the work, cutie. Don't you worry. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Fran. Hi, Fran. Well, I don't mind. No, it's worth it. Now, listen. We work hard. We can uh, afford these luxuries. Besides, I can take it off my expense account. Sure. You bet. Well, she... Well, she's here. Just a minute. I'll, talk. I'll call her. Beulah. I think she's in the kitchen. Just a minute. Beulah! Oh, careless. Somebody left the phone off the hook. Well, dial tone. The way they do it on TV. Hello? Listen, I don't have enough tomato paste. Need another can of tomato paste. Just send it right over. How soon can you get it here? Oh, 
Well, I can't help that. He's neglected me. Well, he has. No! Bobby's is the one for me. What? Oh, he'll forgive me for that. Girl goes to New York. Why, she can't. She has so many bowls, she can't pay attention to any one. One of them. No! Wait till he gets back. Yes! I'll sparkle for him. Sure. All right, dear. Want cool cool again? Okay. Couldn't find her anywhere, Fran. I'm sorry. You what? Oh, wouldn't you know. Well, we're taking care of everything, dear. So don't you worry. Well, we want to go down to the Blackstone Theater here in Chicago and see it's a great day. It's a wonderful show, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You bet. <laughs> I'll give my best to Aunt Dorothy, too. You bet. All righty. Bye. I will. Jack. Oh, you talked to her, didn't you? Said hello, yeah. <laughs> I told her we'd take care of everything. You want to come over for dinner tonight? Sure, I'd be happy to. Tell Beulah to, to make the meatballs go a little further. Hope they do. Kukla, a great many things have arrived in the mail room, and I think we ought to check a few of them. What, for instance? Oh, some wedding presents. Oh, that's, that's very nice. You mean for Madame Uncle Puss and Colonel Cracky? Yes, indeed. By the way, what time is uh, Mr. Lewis coming? Well, pretty soon, pretty soon. I want to be sure to have my ears starched. I know that he would be terribly upset if I came to dinner with my ears drooping like this. The last time I did that, you know how they fell right in soup. Ho, 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 that. No, don't say it. Rich. Oh. What are you going to do tonight? We're going to play cards? Are we going to play games? Are we going to play 20 questions or what? Oh, I thought we might sing a little or something. Well, what, for instance? Well, there was a... I, I had a few letters, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> oh, I had a few letters. From um, some people who wanted to hear me sing a little song I did ooh, about three, four weeks ago. Which one's that, Cook? Uh, let me see if I can guess. Oh, it's a little folk song that I sang once, and everybody liked to hear it, and I thought maybe I'd do it again if you'd like to hear it. Well, certainly you know me. Uh, why don't you rehearse it right now, right? Why don't you do it the right? What accompaniment are you going to use tonight? Well, tonight I'm going to use the Irish harp. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Who's going to play it? Oliver Old Dragon. Oh, that'll be fine. Well, what the, what's the name of the song? The Cuckoo. I'll thank you to keep a civil tongue in your head. <laughs> Bravo, bravo, that was simply grand. Oh, 
Really, Kukla, you... you... What's the matter with him? Just controlling my emotions. Well, for heaven's sakes, I... <clears throat> Say, Kuk, who... Who is going to do the record pantomime today? I hope it is I. No, Fletcher, this is not your day. This is sort of general Kukapoutin day, and I think maybe I'm more or less in charge. You know, you're going to be in charge of another day later in the week. Well, you have to be very careful which day it is, because you see, um, let me see, I think it's Thursday. I have to have my uh, ears starched because I'm addressing the rabbit convention. Are they meeting again? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes, yes. And I have a very important uh, thing to talk to them about, about Easter. Because, you see, very soon, many of my fellow rabbits will uh, be going into the eggplant to uh, work for E.B. Easter Bunny. Yes. And so I thought I would address them that night on a proper cooperation <coughs> of uh, uh, coating uh, the eggs with chocolate. It's a very important process, and I think that it needs expert advice. So I am, I've been asked to address the convention on that particular subject. And then after that, I may give a slight discourse on rabbits raising their own garden. Well, that's very fine. Well, we'll be sure not to make it Thursday for your day. Thank you, Kukla. You're really a grand fellow. What about, uh, well, let me see, maybe Wednesday. Well, I'm afraid Madame Ogopus, uh, I'm afraid Madame Ogopus is going to take it on Wednesday. Why can't she take it on Tuesday? Because she's got to have her hair done. Well, that's a pretty slim excuse, if you ask me. Well, Fletcher, I mean, I don't, I try to keep peace. Why, why don't you discuss it? Oh, no. Far be it for me. Tuesday's not good for me. You know, that's the big day when most of the mail arrives. No, it's not good for me. I guess you'll have to put me off till Friday. Well, I think that's Busey's day. Why can't she take Tuesday? Well, I just don't think it's a good day for her. She, uh, she says that she had to do some flying. You know, she's soloing now. Well, it's all right. I don't have to be on at all. I, I'll just be background. Oh, no, Fletch, that's all right. Oh, we'll work it out somehow. Now, I'll, <clears throat> I have something very special to announce. Uh, RCA Victor has put out a very wonderful album uh, called The First Piano Quartet. Well, it's by The First Piano Quartet. And it's, um, well, here it is, right here. This is it in the, in the 45 RPM size. And they're waltzes, waltzes from the classic. The Blue Danube, Waltz of the Flowers. And the Grand Waltz Brillant. Pretty good, huh? Faust Waltzes, Four Waltzes by Brahms, and the Liebeslied by Chrysler. They're all in and they're very beautifully played. And, and, and we're going to play one of these in a minute and have Mercedes and Cecil Bill pantomime it for you because they're, you know, they, they study piano. They can only play two piano, but they, they say that they'll make up the other two. Now, um, oh, yeah, that's what I had to say. With this album or any RCA Victor record or album, you can receive a very wonderful uh, album called Call Me Madam. It's a Call Me Madam backstage record is what it is. It's a recording that was made backstage during the show, and it, you know, we can hear the stage manager's cue. You know, that's that wonderful Broadway show, Call Me Madam. Members of the cast waiting to go on. Irving Berlin's in it. Now, this is the way it works. If you buy um, uh, any RCA Victor record or album, uh, you, at your dealers, uh, you ask him for a card, and you fill that out with your name and address, and and add 25 cents for cost of mailing and handling, and he'll send that card in, and, and you will receive your record of Call Me Madam. Call Me Madam backstage record, that is. And this offer expires uh, February 25th. You can put it, oh no, wait, wait for the piano, wait for the piano. Mercedes? Oh, I didn't want to, I didn't practice. Well, you don't have to practice, just pantomiming this. I didn't practice my pantomime either. Is Linwood out there? Yes. Well, I'll play for him then. Ah! Oh! 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 What's the matter? I got caught in my dress. Oh, for heaven's sake. Let's not have any trouble. Hello, Linwood. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Ah. <clears throat> And you may put the record on now.
Answer the door, what are you supposed to do? Well, well, I'll take the record off. Bad weather. Uh, it wasn't a bad. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no no no. Blue. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all, nothing. <laughs> well, I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will. We'll have lots of fun while we you and I together. <laughs> I'll get them all dialed up tonight, we'll go out to town, hey? <laughs> oh, that'll be swell. I'll enjoy that. Oh, ho. That's rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Fusey. I mean... After all, I remember recently when you came to New York and I kept calling you and all I got was... Oh, Bobsy, well, dear! Well, I don't oh, know. No, 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 no. I met a stewardess on the plane coming out. I sort well! Of, sort of have a date with... Hi, Bob. Hi, Coop. I'm sorry I'm so late. Well, gee, it's good to see you. Thanks. It's wonderful seeing you. Oh, Helen. you look wonderful. Well, golly, I feel pretty good. Yeah, this weather, though. Uh, well, Fran's gone. You know, she's in California. I know. I saw a show I'm Friday. Sorry. sorry you couldn't be here to, to, with Franny. Cause I'd she, love to have seen her yeah. again. Yeah. Huh? Well, hello. Hi, Coop. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking <laughs> over your shoulder. <laughs> How are you, OJ? I'm fine. Good thank you. you. It's good to see you, thank aren't you? you? Thank you. Oh, what a hot. Tie. You like that? Grand. Sure, I wore that on the plane. Oh, oh did you? Sure. That's great. Well, dinner's practically ready. Listen, am I going to be a room? Are we going to room together while I'm here? I you want to stay in my room? Well, that's what I was told. I oh, that'd bed. be great. You Good. can sleep in the upper berth there. All right, I'm going to unpack a little while. He's got all his pennants and everything up there. I don't think oh. he's very comfortable. Maybe be softer. How about uh, you and Beauty? You, uh... Well, I don't know, Cook. I, uh... I've been thinking it over, and you know, a fella gets a little bit uh, hurt once in a while. I mean, I call Busey all the time. She was in New York, and I don't know. I sort of I don't want to get hurt again. That's all. And I don't blame you, kid. I don't blame you at all. But well, you be know. kind to her because she's. Well, Darling. I want to tell you how thrilled and pleased we all were to hear the wonderful news. Well, thank you. My so goodness, much. many, many happy, wonderful years to you both. How's the colonel? Oh, he's fine, darling. I, I really. Darling, I... <laughs> Robert, dear. Yes, Ophelia. Okay. May you, I call you Ophelia? You may, darling. Thank you you just may, really. I have never been so happy in all my life. Well, it shows. It certainly does show. It comes right through all the time. Would you like me to tell you about it? I'd love to hear about it. Stand back. Sometimes <laughs> get this noisy. I wake up inside you. Happy the night's gone by. I wake up and pray to morning. Pray that the day will fly. And then I sit back and 
Wish you the very, very best for oh. you, Colonel Crack. We'll um, talk about it more later at dinner. Huh? Yes, we will. Good. Hey, everything's ready for dinner, so you kids better get ready. And um, remember, Bob, for the best in recorded music, it's RCA Victor. Want to listen in backstage on the Broadway smash hit Call Me Madam, Meet the Stars and Irving Berlin, Hear the Onstage Cues? You can, because RCA Victor's special Call Me Madam backstage record puts you right behind the scenes. This backstage record is yours with any RCA Victor 45 record you purchase. And your dealer has lots of new 45s waiting for you. For instance, here's the first piano quartet's new Red Seal album, Waltzes from the Classics. Just give your dealer 25 cents to cover mail and handling, and your Call Me Madam backstage record will be shipped to you. Better hurry, though. This offer expires February 25. So visit your RCA Victor dealer soon. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary, the director, Louis Gomovitz, and the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Tilstrom. Now for some advice to music. Excuse me. <laughs> RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.